I noticed that, um, first of all, this looks really good. The roof plan is looking great. Um, there's a couple things that, um, one thing is totally wrong and the other thing I'm just going to have you adjust. Um, this, I would never have this like this. Um, it's, uh, in fact, I've never had it before that where it was so close that the peak is just slightly exceeding the main ridge left to right. Um, so I would just go ahead and um, just fudge this. And this is 8, 8, 812. I just make it 8.1 and that'll kick it up above. That'll kick the main ridge above this because uh, I want to keep this uh, 1212. So then I'll just put a note to the ma uh, trust manufacturer to, um, you know, t to note this area that I don't want the that the ri that the reverse gable ridge should not exceed the main house ridge. So anyway, I'll just put a note on the drawing to that. I, normally, I would not ever have you do anything that would be, um, you know, a goofy pitch like that. I would work in whole numbers, but it's so darn close that um, we can fudge that and we'll let the trust manufacturer deal with that. Um, this one over here is, is totally wrong. Um, I don't know if there were some guys left behind, but... Um, <clears throat> So this front section is completely dead. So there's nothing in there at all. So this goes, and but on the second floor, it's completely covered. So as you have it right now, um, you know, this is a master bathroom up here and the roof is going right through it. So basically this is going to be a roof shape that starts here on the second floor, that the ridge for it is gonna be like, say here, and it's going to break down and and go over the front, um, go over the front uh, on the front plate. So it'll start the back part of uh, part of the back part of the roof will be on the second floor rear of the house uh, second floor plate, and the front roof portion will um, rotate on the front um, first floor garage plate. So it'll be like that, and then just look at the um, look at the Frank Betts play, uh, plan. As far as this isn't going to be a great big dormer, it's not. So these walls aren't aren't needed. So you can get rid of those, um, and get rid of those. And you're just going to have like a fake, basically a fake dormer there. Look at the front Frank Betts, and I, I don't remember what pitch it is, but it's it's kind of a lower pitch roof. Mimic that, and it'll have a few windows in it like that has, and it'll literally just be um, a dummy dormer. So that's what that roof will look like, and the rest of it looks correct. Um, <clears throat> so good job on that.